Good morning. Okay, my continued journey on detoxing, cleansing my body, and getting healthy. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know that the tea that I made last week, it lasted me, I want to say, seven to eight days. And so um, my brother E had asked me how much did I make the last time. And so now I'm showing the process of what I did so that he can know. Uh, there's three quarts of water in here. I could actually add a little bit more. I probably will add another half a uh, quart. But um, so I'm boiling the water. This is the herbs uh, that were mixed. And I will tell you the names of them again so that you know. I took a couple of scoops of each, put it in a plastic bag, and mixed them all up. I'm going to take two scoops, two full scoops now. Um, two full scoops. This is, oh, I can't read it while this stuff is in a cup, but hold on. So, this is a cup. Um... This is an eight ounce cup. Okay, so I'm taking 16 ounces of the herbs. Okay, 16 ounces of the herbs, and then I'm boiling them down. Um, I just want to make a notation in reference to stuff because my brother said I should keep a journal as to what it is that I'm feeling pertaining to the results of it. <clears throat> First of all, it does make you go to the bathroom a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, <clears throat> the health issues that I'm dealing with is I'm, I'm overweight. I'm grossly overweight right now. Um, I have an ulcer and my, I have uh, severe arthritis in my knees as well as a lot of stress-induced symptoms that I'm experiencing, back pains, and so on and so forth. But I wanted to make a note that after taking the herbs for a little bit of time for this last week, actually, I noticed after the first day, after the first day of drinking, the first day I drank 20, I want to say 24 ounces of the tea the very first day. After drinking that that very first day, my stomach, the pains that I was experiencing my stomach for the for the ulcer uh, had subsided a lot. And I wasn't getting that feeling that I get. Um, the results of the ulcer, so it makes me feel like I'm going to throw up. Um, then I get severe pains in my stomach. So when I when that was happening, prior to drinking a tea, I would have to get up immediately and go rush and, and put something on my stomach. And generally, it was the drinks that I make, the fruit drinks that I make, and fruit and vegetable drinks that I make, as well as take um, probiotic pills. Okay, because that's supposed to put the natural bacteria in your stomach and help it um, get better. Then if that didn't work too well, I hit myself with some aloe vera juice to kind of coat my stomach. Um, the doctors had prescribed this crap. Uh, pardon me for showing you my name. Is it at Penta? Penta preserves or whatever the hell that is. But anyway, the side effects for that was crazy. So um, I, I don't like taking medications that would have caused me more problems than good. So I just want to let you know that the herbs are working. I have not weighed myself. I'm not going to weigh myself. I'm going to wait a while. But the herbs are working. It does take extremely, extremely nasty. You know, all I can say is just have something good to, to put in your mouth, like a lifesaver or something after you drink it down. And that kills the uh, taste in your mouth. But it does make you use the bathroom. It does not give you the runs. There's no runs involved. But you will have to be using the bathroom a lot. So there you go. This is, you know, my journey. And information pertaining to the boiling of the herbs. And how I'm processing them. Um, today is, the, is um, the second month, the 10th day. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.